So oh, hi. look at that shirt that you've got on. <laughs> I do. I have on my face off shirt. That's why my head's cut off because I was like, I have to be able to see my face off shirt. Uh, <laughs> oh, that has so, the John Travolta on there. That's yeah, it says John Travolta on that. Uh, so what's great about this movie, I was very excited because I'm a huge Pedro Pascal fan and I'm a huge Nick Cage fan. So it was my world's married together. But <laughs> you guys mastered like what I've been saying about Nick Cage for years, which is that he understands acting on a level that no one else does. And so I wanted yeah. to know how much of that was already written into your script, like all the little mannerisms he does and how much did he kind of bring when you guys got him into the project? Ooh, he is a good question. He had a lot of, he has a lot of those worked out um, and it's so cool. Like I was, that was one of the things that I was most amazed by that, you know, in scenes he would have the moment where he wanted to cough or he would have his hand gestures, um, which feel natural and end up feeling really normal, but he's thought about it. He's worked out the beats in his head. Yeah. And, and he comes fully prepared with those. I, I think those were all yeah. him. Look, we had like the, the kind of cadence of like his voice written into the script, like the, the rhythms of how Nicolas Cage speech, but nothing it like works, but nothing can prepare you for a read where he's like the wild goose trace, you know, like, or do or saying <laughs> things like the gate. You're like, or when he comes in, he's going Nick fuck it. And he does that forever cage. Like well, that's not in the script. Like that is Nick's choice of how to read that particular line. And, you know, he comes over afterwards after we took the headphones <laughs> off and Kevin and I are standing there and he comes over and said, I wanted that to be transcendent. <laughs> and you're going, okay, well, it was, and it works. And that's Nicolas Cage. That's what you get when you, you know, when, that's why we made this movie. You said Nick fucking Cage, and it was so funny because my audience was cheering like it was like a football game anytime he did anything. <laughs> and I was just like, this is the greatest night of my life. Um, Where did you but, see it? Where did you see it? Uh, at like the press screening in New York, but everyone was just cheering for this oh. movie <laughs> uh, in a way that I was just like, oh, okay, we're all on board. Great. Uh, Good. But what I really enjoyed too was like the relationship between uh, Javi and Nick is so interesting because it's like the whole time he's like, no, you don't understand. This man is too sweet. He couldn't do it. And their friendship kind of pushes this into like a weird, like, almost love story between these two friends and like their <laughs> dedication to each other um what was like your most fun like getting to write those two characters and that dynamic because it is a fan and an actor but it is also just two guys kind of going on this journey together mm -hmm. I think the most fun I had was working on and writing and rewriting the the monologue that Pedro gives to Nick about how the world is broken and dark and it <laughs> needs you and like you know I think that ultimately was like you know basically how Tom and I felt about Nick coming into this process like if Nick ever retired it was we would want to give him that speech um but that was like yeah we worked on that one we worked and reworked that one for a while and for me, I think the most fun part of their like little romance with each other which you're right that's kind of what it is is when they're they're asked to kill each other and they don't want to and they're trying to stall to get out of the car and so he's just asking them if those are new shoes and they're trying on each other's shoes and it's like the deeply like weirdest most absurd scene in the film but you get a genuine sense of how much these two characters love each other and for us that was that was super fun to write and super weird and fun to see actually on set because they it, it was it felt genuine yeah, it was great when then he couldn't run because they were he was wearing loafers. Um, <laughs> so I would like to ask this as a final question, but what do you hope audiences get to take away when they get to see the unbearable weight of massive talent? I mean, I hope they get to to feel how much we love movies, working on movies, making movies. Nick and Pedro are actual cinephiles who bonded over movies. And so the joy of like, you know, seeing movies together in a theater. Yeah, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Again, this this is one of my, this is maybe my top Nick Cage movie now because it was oh. just so good. Oh, awesome. fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank Have you. Have a great one. You too.